This video is designed for Year 12 accounting students to help them understand um, how to record correcting entries in the General Journal and the General Ledger. This is one of three examples of correcting entries. The other two are available on the separate videos. So what is a correcting entry? A correcting entry is done in the General Journal to correct an error in the way a transaction was recorded in the General Journal or the General Ledger. So at times we might make some mistakes and we need to correct those. The kinds of mistakes that we um, commonly see will be that we might have used the wrong account, we might have put the wrong amount in originally, or we could have done both and actually used the wrong account and the wrong amount. So to correct errors, essentially what we need to do is two things. We need to reverse the error that was originally made and then we need to record the correct entry. So here's our first example. On the 17th of April, the accountant for E. Haynes has checked their records against source documents and noticed the following error. Memo 41 was issued for this correcting entry. So we can see here that um, the error was a payment of $420 for electricity was accidentally recorded as a payment of advertising. So to know what to record, we need to ask ourselves two questions. What was recorded and what should have been recorded? So the answer to our first question, what was recorded, was a payment um, for advertising. So we accidentally recorded a payment of advertising. So if we think about what that would normally look like, we would debit advertising and we would normally credit bank and typically we would also be um, making a payment of GST. So we would also be debiting GST. So the second question says, what should have been recorded? Well, we should have recorded a payment of $420 electricity. So if we think about that, we would have debited electricity. We would have credited bank. And we probably would have debited GST clearing. So if we think about what the error actually was, the bank and the GST clearing account would be affected in the same way. So we don't really need to do anything with those because there's actually no error in the amounts that have gone in or out of those accounts. Where the problem is, is in these two accounts here, in the advertising and the electricity. So the first thing I need to do up in my general uh, journal is I need to reverse the error. So on April 17, I'm going to put advertising. And in order to reverse this, I originally debited it. Therefore, I'm going to credit it $420. Now to record what should have happened, I need to debit electricity. So what I'm showing here is I'm showing the decrease in the advertising expense, because that was my mistake, and the increase in my electricity expense, because that's what should have been recorded. So now I need to record my narration where I explain what's happened. So all I'm going to put in here is correcting entry. And then I'm going to say pretty much what is said over in here. So payment of electricity. accidentally recorded as advertising and of course I need to finish that with memo 41.
so I need to squish it in there. So effectively what we've done here is we've reversed that original error by reducing the expense and then we have recorded the correct entry by increasing the expense. So let's transfer that down into our general ledger. So in the electricity account, I need to increase that by $420 on April 17 because that was the day when the correcting entry uh, needs to occur. That was the day we discovered the error. And I'm going to cross-reference where that $420 is coming from. So it's actually coming from advertising and I can tell that from my general journal. Down in the advertising account on April 17, I've got $420 showing the decrease in expense and my cross-reference is I'm taking that amount over to electricity in particular. So this is an example of a simple correcting entry where it's the same amount, it's just the wrong accounts have been used. If you'd like to look at some more correcting entries, there are two more videos that you can be watching for extra help here.